everybody, I'm Frogkix, and I think it's about time for my very first collection video. I've been collecting Pokemon plush toys for nearly 10 years now, and as a kid, I started like everyone else with like the cheap eBay bootlegs and random Tommy plushes that I found at Walmart or Toys R Us back when that was a thing. However, at some point I found the Pokemon Center website and I never looked back. So at this point, this is the Pokemon Center collection not just the Pokemon plush collection. Nowadays, I don't really buy as many Pokemon plushes as I used to, mostly because I have all of like my big favorite Pokemon, you know, the ones I really wanted growing up. But it doesn't mean that I never buy more. I actually have a brand new one right here. Scissors? Scissors? Where did I put the scissors? <gasps> Froki! Oh, he's so cute! Look at him! He's so fluffy! Oh, look at those eyes! Oh, he's staring into my soul! For whatever reason, I never got my hands on the Froki Poki doll, even though it was in stock for like a long time. This isn't even just an ordinary Froki Poki doll. Look at that, this is a Japanese one. That tag is beautiful. Look how minty that is. I'm so glad it didn't get damaged in shipping. There was just a bubble mail or something else, so. Everything seems to line up. I have no reason to suspect this is a fake. The construction, the texture, all seems to be reasonable for the time. This was a good buy. He is so sweet. I have a lot more really cool Pokemon Center plushes where this guy came from, so let's get into it. So we're gonna start with this bin, aptly labeled Pokemon plushies in terrible handwriting. And this is essentially a bunch of miscellaneous stuff because as I said, Pokemon Center is my main brand, go-to brand to purchase from, right? But these are all like Tomy, like there's some Jack specific in here. I do have one Pokemon Center plush. This is Rayquaza. He's very well loved. I think he's authentic, but it's hard for me to say for sure. No tush tag. One of very few bootlegs in my collection. This is Gavrados. For a bootleg, he's pretty nice. It's got like a jointed wire in him. He's very soft. No rips or holes or anything like that. We have a Hasbro Mudkip. There are a lot of bootlegs of this guy out there, but I found this little man at a fair vendor, which was very strange because he was in a, like a sea of bootlegs, like very obvious bootleg. Takaratomi Vaporeon, very well loved. The tail has been attached, uh, I'm sorry, detached on purpose. Jack Pacific East Sea Shellos, right? Yeah, tag is pretty beat up, but it is basically brand new. Gligar from Hasbro, got the tag. Tag looks actually really nice. Basically mint, Noibat from Tomy, pretty nice. Jack specific Deerling, no tags, but very cute. A very ugly, vintage looking bootleg Pikachu. Got a keychain on him, peak bootleg icon. Got him at a fair. Frogadier, pretty unusual. I didn't even know there was a Frogadier plush until my grandparents got this for me many years ago. Tucker, Tomy. KFC Zubat with the tag. KFC Dratini with the tag as well. Ban Presto Buizel, pretty strange one. Uh, his tag looks legit, everything seems to be in order. Tomy Espeon, pretty basic plush, but it's very nicely made. Halucha, really cool, I love Halucha. Hasbro Raichu with the tag, looks pretty okay tag. Really weird short tail. Takara Tomy Togekiss. No touch tag, unfortunately, but I did remove and save the hang tag. I just don't have it on me right now. Got some unofficial plushes. This is an oily factory Garchomp. Has a small hole in the tail, unfortunately, from when I got it, but a off model looking Houndoom. Still pretty cool though. It's a, you know, it's pretty big. It's like a foot tall as well. Put a little necklace on it. <laughs> Shiny Vaporeon. This one is very cool. Kind of looks like the Tomy slash Tucker Tomy Vaporeon from earlier. Tomy Pumpkaboo. I showed this one in my card unboxing video recently. And finally, we have this 25th anniversary edition Pikachu with like this velvety, some weird kind of texture and all these little markings on it. Okay, now moving on to the big boy stuff. Mostly, if not almost entirely, authentic Pokemon Center. This is the Sitting Cuties Togekiss. 
Oh, I love how soft this one is. A running Pikachu. I got this guy at GameStop years back, I'm pretty sure. There's the tag. Most of these are tagged, which is awesome. Lucario, very cool plush. Meowth, again with the tag. It'll focus, thank you. I got a Nintendo World as well. I went to New York City a few times. Torchic, also from Nintendo World. There's the tag. Helioptile. No tag, only because it was on a string, so I just took it off and put it somewhere safe. It's not gone. Pretty well-loved Vulpix. I think, I, yeah, I cut off one of the tags. I'm not sure why. I kept this one, but I cut off another one. He's, he's pretty well-loved. Not terrible condition or anything, but Charizard, who is pretty derpy. He's got lopsided wings here. He is legit. I got him off the Pokemon Center website itself, but... Just a little weird looking, but I still like him. He's cool. Lycanroc midday form, I'm pretty sure. This is Japanese Pokemon Center. Uh, look at that. Tag is in pretty good shape, uh, all things considered. Running Fluffy Eevee. Really strange, but I think it's adorable. I really like this guy. Mew, nothing else to really say here, but really pretty. I like this one a lot. There's the tag. Sitting Cuties Gliscor with this ugly oversized tag. He's awesome, but he does have some kind of factory defect. This claw is like stitched really weirdly. Like this one looks fine, but something happened over here. Arcanine, who's very cute, but kind of a weird compact look. The head seems too big for his body in comparison to his picture there. I don't know. Alolan Marowak, pretty cool. It's got this big firebone thing. A super soft Mimikyu. I remember unboxing this one and just being like, whoa, it's so soft and squishy. Really feels like you're squishing air. I don't know what it is about this one, but it's super soft. Snivy is an older Pokemon Center one. There's the uh, tag there. It's the older design. Houndour sitting cuties. He's, uh, he's sitting and he's cute. It fits, but this giant tag will be the death of me. I hate that tag. Lapras. Uh, the neck is a little loose, but it's not too bad. The color is bizarre. Look at the tag here. Like, that color is nowhere close. It looks way too light. We have the Alolan Starters Litten. And Poplio. This, I believe, is the first Pokemon I ever bought from the Pokemon Center website. It's Mewtwo. He's really cool. I love this super long tail. And finally, Decidueye. Very impressive plush. I love how the wings are super jointed. There's the tag. <laughs> Let's see, he's taking a selfie. Look at that. I think we'll have some heavy hitters in this bin. Got a bunch of Pokey dolls. I have Umbreon. I really like this guy. Basically mint. Glaceon, really pretty. Again with the tag. Flareon. With the tag, there's the Nintendo World sticker. Leafeon, I'm a huge fan of this Leafeon. Leafeon isn't one of my favorite Pokemon or anything, but this one is so cute. Vaporeon, of course, how could I possibly not have the Vaporeon Pokedoll? Unfortunately, that's all the evolutions I have. I wish I had the full set, but they're kind of expensive. But I do have a Pikachu, really friend-shaped. Palkia, who is pretty well loved because Palkia and Dialga have always been some of my favorite Pokemon. Scolipede, super happy I got my hands on this guy. He is my favorite bug type. This plush is really cute. Rockruff, very cute little popper. Alongside Rockruff, I actually bought Rizion here. I do have the tag, it was just on a string, so I untied it and put it away. Chestnut, who looks kind of weird. I, I don't really know why I got this one. I'm not a huge fan of Chestnut. I don't hate Chestnut, but Alolan Vulpix, very cute, soft and fluffy. There's the tag. Zorua, who looks like a polka doll, but this is not a polka doll. The tag is totally normal. Here is the Xerneas polka doll. I also have a Dialga polka doll. This one's actually mint with its tag. I paid like 40 something bucks for this one back in the day. This is a Halloween Sylveon. I think it's called Eerie Delights. Yeah, Eerie Delights. Sylveon with the with the pretty cloak and everything. On the topic of Halloween, I have this Pikachu pumpkin head thing. This Poké doll is Lycanroc Dusk form. Very bulbous head, but I like him. He's cute. Sitting Cuties Ekans. He is indeed very cute. Sitting Cuties Aricuno with the chest fluff and everything and the long tail. Arceus. The Pokey Lord himself looks like he's wearing a pretzel. Very majestic. Wobbuffet, 
with the tag, which is freakishly oversized. Not sure what happened there. Alolan Ninetales, super pretty. Uh, she smells like paint. There's the tag. To round off the trio, I have Lycanroc Midnight Form. Here's the tag, got him from the Nintendo World Store. Venusaur Pokedoll. I think they made an, an updated version of this guy. This is the older one. Cosmog. If you remember the get in the bag Nebby meme, you may qualify for a veteran's discount. Typhlosion. This is the older version without the posable arms. For some reason, you can take your hand and stick it up here. I don't know why. You guys like my new baseball mitt? Female Nidoran sitting cutie. And finally, Primarina. This is a Gorgeous plush. This is a Japanese one as well because I was so excited I couldn't wait for it to get to the Pokemon Center website. The tag's a little rough, but otherwise she is like near mint. I remember freaking out when I unboxed this one. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh! Oh! The second to last bin. There are actually a few Sene plushes in here. Volcanion. This one is pretty cool. I remember Volcanium being kind of dissed for how weird he looked, but I don't know, I think he's really cool. This is probably one of my most prized plushies, an authentic Ash Greninja. Only two drawbacks is that he's detached from his shuriken. I purposely removed this hand when I was younger because I wanted to play with him more. And I did remove his tag. I still have it though, which is something. I also have the normal Greninja. This is the non-articulated version. And I first bought this plush when I was about 10 years old. This was the star of my own little Pokemon plush series. If anybody here remembers a Nina the Greninja? I made those videos. Tragically, it doesn't factory defect. It came to me with a hole in the arm. Yavetl, big boy. He looks like he wants to give you a hug, but it's a hug of death. Dragging over the floor is his tag, which is kind of beat up. Not sure what happened there, but let's get my three Sane plushes out of the way. This is Suicune, who is really cool. Super soft, squishy. Dragonite, very cute little boy. Here's the uh, tag going on there. For the last Sane plush, I have Ampharos, who looks awesome. The Sane plushes are really cool. Reshiram, really pretty plush. It is a little well-loved and the nose is a little rubbed. This type of fabric Pokemon Center used to use just doesn't hold up that well. To go alongside him, I have Zekrom. Oh, he came to me with a hole from the factory. Otherwise, looks great. Xerneas. I remember I used to have a bootleg of this guy and he just flopped all over the place. He stands, man. He's up. It, it's amazing. Well, now he just fell over, but you know what I mean. Palkia. This is a pretty new one. It came out, I think, last year. I love this guy. He's so cool. I have wanted a full-sized Palkia and Dialga plush forever. My final bin, pretty obvious what's in here. I wonder if I have a Latios and Latios plush. I don't know. First up, I have Superior, definitely one of my favorite plushies. Uh, she has a very nicely jointed body. Of course, as I mentioned, Dialga to go along with Palkia. He is so cool. I'm a huge fan of this guy. And the tag is just boring, nothing to see here. To complete the trio, I also have Giratina. Forget what form this is, but he's got all the legs and ho-oh, big huge wings that stay up tail is like individual feathers. I also have Lugia, who is comparatively a little less impressive because his arms are floppy. Also, I somehow managed to stain his fingers a little bit. I forget which side it is. It's very faint, but I don't know how that happened. It drives me crazy. I don't know what I did. Groudon. As you can see, I really like legendary Pokemon because I have a ton of them. <laughs> of course, to go alongside him, I had to get Kyogre. Definitely a really cool, well-designed plush. So good. Galio, very big, bulky head. Amazing, very well detailed. Look at the stars on his forehead there. Here's this very bent crease tag. I'm not really sure how it got that bad. Once again, I'm addicted to legendary Pokemon, so to go alongside him, I bought this Japanese Lunala. So gorgeous, huge wings. I know this is authentic because I paid like $58. <laughs> I was really desperate to have a Lunala plush, so I got the Japanese one. Hoopa Unbound, he's a really weird one. I don't know why I got this guy. I think I went to Nintendo World and I didn't really have a lot of good Pokemon plushes that year, so I settled for this guy. Finally, to finish off our bins once and for all, are Latios and Latios. Here's Latios's tag. And here's Latios's tag right here. We're not 
quite done. I have some big plushes, really big plushes. Flareon, the sleeping Flareon. This is the Japanese one. His hang tag actually fell off, which was tragic, but his little tush tag is still here. And of course, I did save the hang tag, so I do have it. Vaporeon, she is huge. Also very big, long tail. And this one, of course, the tag did not fall off. Super squishy, I can just push my hand into her face and she does not care, she's still sleeping away, right? I also have a giant life-size Fennekin. <laughs> Look how big this thing is. It is in fact life-size to my knowledge. The tag is still on this one, it's just kind of beat up. Yeah, here it is, a very large tag. I also have these two, a Keldeo and Celebi 20th anniversary plushes. Also have this guy, life-size Pikachu. He's an old boy, I've had him for like 10 years, I think. Tomy, I believe. I detached the tail a long time ago. And last but not least, after all of this, are the first Pokemon plushes I ever got. These look like ordinary plastic Pokeballs. They open up, you fling them like this, and a plush comes out. There is Wobbuffet, and this should be Pachirisu. Whoop, just popped right open. I got these guys back in 2009, I believe. I was like, what, four or something? I just kind of had a few before I started collecting and then I got more into it, so. Hold on to these guys. They are where it all started. There you have it. Those are all of my Pokemon plush toys. I definitely have a lot, but I'm actually not sure how many exactly I own. So I'll put it up on screen right now after I count everything. That would be all of my Pokemon plushes. It'll be kind of a pain to put everything back away again, so if you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more toy review collection video stuff for older audiences. And I guess that's about it. Bye!